What's up, everybody? First things off, check out this pro split coming up here. They go one way, they go another way, then a few of them just sit there and do nothing. Anyways, guys, I am Zerondin. This is StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm, and you t are tuned into a fun match here today between the two following players. In the bottom right-hand corner, coming in in the red Zerg is Rikio, or... Yeah, I think it's Rikio, or ri -Iko. It's gonna be Rikio. And in the top left corner, coming in in the blue, Terran is going to be UM4D's Faust. Or Faust. I think that's Faust, though. So, Faust versus Rikio. Should be a fun match. And this ZVT here today. Let's see who comes out on top. We do have a very early SCV jaunting on down to this natural. I think we might have some dirty play coming up here. Let's see if he's gonna do anything. Uh, he's definitely hanging out. Maybe just going for the block. We'll keep an eye on him. Oh, I did see it just as I left away. Uh, Barracks going up there. So we are going to get some proxy going on. Perhaps not the uh, best of proxy, considering you got to build them here. they got to walk down this ramp, walk up this ramp, go in here, up that ramp. And there you are. That's actually not the natural. That is the third of the naturals right there. So not the best placement. Um, I would place a proxy on this map probably right about here. Uh, that way you're through the natural into the main and possibly still a little hidden right there. Um, but that's his choice. Uh, that, we'll see if that's any good or not. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to build the second barracks or not. He definitely didn't bring two SCVs. That would have been the way to do it. You don't two proxy uh, a barracks with one SCV. That's, that's pretty bad planning there. Uh, we did have an extractor trick here, I think, but the Overlord's finished now, so it doesn't matter much. Spawning pool finishing up as well, and uh, should have Zerglings on the way. Indeed, we we have drones on the way, uh, but a queen on the way as well. And uh, this Overlord finally getting up to the north end of the map, going to be scouting out that Terran nice and strong. Uh, the first Marine, or a Reaper rather, is on his way, uh, but that has now been scouted out. Uh, so Rikio knows this is coming. Probably going to see some lings coming off of that. Uh, he doesn't have any larvae at the moment. That queen will be up soon, though, and queens are always pretty much the enemy to a reaper harass. I guess that's why he's proxying there. I was thinking it was going to be a marine proxy uh, attack, but it is reapers. So it doesn't matter as much where it is because they can pop, pop, and they're in. So if you're doing a marine proxy, don't do it here. Um, actually, the Reaper can't go up that cliff, apparently. It has to go over to this one. Yeah, that's a double cliff. Uh, so still a little bit far to go. If he deproxied right here, they'd just be hopping up and in. And uh, that Reaper does get the uh, block off by killing that drone. He's going to jump up into the main here. The Queen should be able to defend this. Uh, depends on how the micro of Faust is. And uh, he's not doing too bad. It looks like he actually has the barracks queued on the Reaper here. Is he going to let this die? Oh, so close to letting that Reaper die queen really in hot pursuit uh yeah his barracks is actually queued on to his reaper so his other reapers are going to go to wherever this guy is at the time so if he's in the middle of combat he could have one spawn badly and that would not be what you want oh two queens versus two reapers that is an easy battle for the queens reapers dodge the crap out of there they don't want a piece of that you got to be careful about those queens stacking on up and uh Obviously, we're seeing more and more of them on the field. Three Reapers now, but we have another Queen on the way. No Zergling yet. We might just get a lot of Queens here. And again, the Reapers are not going to be able to do this. If they micro, if he micros them perfectly, he might be able to get a Queen down low. But uh, for now, this Queen is still around 85 hit points in healing up. Four coming in now. Sec or the third Queen getting close to finish. The second Queen almost dying. The drone's coming off the line. Trying to defend this queen does not want to lose that queen. Kind of a circle of life thing going on there, almost. Uh, doesn't really work with a ranged unit, though. And the third queen is now out. Those reapers are going to have to back off for sure. They could definitely snipe this queen, but uh, he probably was a reaper in the process. And uh, here he comes again. Is he going to poke in this time? He's going to jump up there. He does get that creep tumor. And uh, the queen, very, very low. The queen does go down, but a few roaches will place that queen, trapping one reaper, and he does go down. So the Roach is now, of course, on the field, helping to protect, protect Rikio. And uh, actually, it looks like he is pulling out at least one. Yeah, he's going to pop out the last Reaper, and I would expect this barracks to lift off and go home. Uh, he has to there it goes. So he's pulling out for now. Going to probably transition into some more normal play style. Um, and he really has nothing at home. Uh, unfortunately, Rikio could have probably sent up some Zergling or something. Really caused some havoc for Faust, but... 
Not worried about that for now. Rikio just wanted to defend his own base, make sure he didn't die to the proxy, and uh, not going to happen today. In the meantime, Rikio is going to send his, uh, his roaches over to make sure this proxy is done. Uh, he doesn't know if they've left or not, so now he knows not here anymore. They've probably gone home. Of course, if he would have just lifted them up and put them here, uh, Rikio would not have seen them and would have assumed they're gone, I guess. So, always scout that full area uh, if you're if you have been proxied or are worried about a proxy um, he could have been tried to be tricky and just move him over a few feet and you wouldn't have scouted it and that would have been a real bitter blow to the face uh, overlords just jaunting around the base here no marines on the field no turrets nothing to shoot up uh, so the overlords just enjoying their advantage of being able to float about and be happy uh, the roach is not going to be able to do much there the reaper is definitely in the bunker shooting around and uh, the SUV is going to easily repair he does have high ground vision though from his overlord so that's got to be a nice effect uh, we do of course have the factory on the way roach is going to go up there try to block it break in but the one roach is splattered and uh, he did not have a good day just blowing up and sliding down the ramp there leaving behind a stain and that's about it uh, we do have a expansion now for Rikio. He's doing a bit of long-range mining, which I'm not really sure why. It's not necessary per se here. Um, do these count towards this total? Probably not. In fact, no. They, they, they won't, because the normal patch is 24. That's still interesting. Uh, but they'll they'll transition properly now. It says it's already got 9, so there was 9. I guess that's a little bit riot, obviously. But he could have put 24 on that instead of 17 and had the remainder long-range mining, which... You know, get the most out of your uh, resource patch while you only have one. Now that he's got two, the split's fine. Uh, Lair tech, obviously, on on the on the field. Uh, we do have a spire on the way as well. Uh, you can of course see the creep pooping. That's how you know the Lair tech's on the field. And uh, as I said, spire on the way. Another expansion going down too. Uh, Rikio just expanding quite a bit off of this proxy when, once it disappeared. And he knows that he has Faust at one base for right now. Uh, he's got his third. He's got his natural all both clogged up. And uh, still only has one. Mar I guess he's got three Marines now to shoot up. So this Overlord might even make it away. He's, yeah, he's not running, though. That Overlord will go down. Uh, he's pooping creep, though. So I think he's got a command from Rikyo to continue creeping creep as long as possible. Uh, that way. Is that a. Okay, he moved it. He was going to put a missile turret, like, right here in front of this mineral patch. What are you doing? Uh, see, even this, I don't necessarily agree with. It's not too bad, but you are moving some workers around it. Uh, hug the hug the barrack. Hug the command center, almost, I'd say. But whatever, if you feel the need to put a turret in your worker line, don't block your gas. That's the key. Never block your gas. Uh, obviously, gas comes in slower, so you'd never want to hinder that in any way possible. If you feel... The need to put up something around your gas, you know, put it right up here, or right down here. Still, I don't recommend right down there because it's in your mineral line again. So, either way, uh, both players doing okay for the moment. We actually just now have zergling speed on the on the way. I don't think we've seen a single zergling in this match yet, which is very bizarre. Uh, but a good group of mutalisks popping out now. Well, I guess there's four. I would expect more though. Uh, four mutas doesn't do too much. We do have uh, upgrades coming for him, too. Uh, actually, yeah, there's there's more. There's five up here. Uh, and there's four more on the way. Probably would have waited for the remaining four to go in together. Uh, you could easily face off these marines with the big group now that you have. And uh, he's definitely going to go for that. The marines running the heck out of there. Uh, getting popped off. And, oh, they stopped the fight now. Oh, terrible decision there. Uh, the marines should have fought from the get go you're not gonna outrun a mutilisk uh the bigger ball marines though does come in and it's it's a little frightening especially with stim packs uh, going on where are these mutilisks at what is going on with my mouse come on mouse i'm gonna have to pause this game if you keep it well i can still move around yeah, oh, okay my mouse button was stuck ha <laughs> uh my mouse it's getting old all right, the Mutalisks moving around, going to start trying to do a lot of harass, and they're finding it. They're finding loner marines, loner SCVs. Uh, turrets are trying to be thrown up everywhere, but that one's not going anywhere anytime soon. And uh, the harassment of the Mutalisks can be so deadly if you just leave things straggling. These guys right now are a damaged group of marines. That's a vulnerable spot there. The creep spread starting to 
mop its way across the map, just swallowing up everything. And a fourth going down for Rikio. Not happy to have three. Not happy with the one lead on his uh, opponent. He wants a two lead. And uh, he's definitely going to have that. And even more Muta's fluttering out, flowing up the map. He's again trying to find the weak points. The weak point is now kind of over here. Uh, he's getting to the point where he's going to be able to take out missile turrets, and he's going to have to be able to, because those things are going everywhere. Everywhere. There's just a lot of missile turrets. In fact, uh, uh, right, that doesn't tell the buildings. I always forget the units tab doesn't tell me the buildings. Is there a buildings tab? There really needs to be a buildings tab. Upgrades, production, units. Yeah, there's... Oh, structures. Yeah, structures. I was thinking buildings for B, not structures for D. Uh, so before that missile turret blows up, he had, oh, he had six missile turrets. So now sitting on one less. Uh, but yeah, these mutalists can definitely face a missile turret now, but not a Thor. You can get out of there. Thor is definitely the enemy of the mutalisk, uh, as well as many other things. But Thor's are that splash damage is just horrible. Uh, extra damage versus light. And uh, it does do AoE too. I don't see... Yeah, okay. But, uh, the, again, just stay away from that. <laughs> and he's not going to stay away from it. Flies right back into it. Three more volleys go off. Uh, luckily, those Mutalisks using their Mutalisk heal ability and uh, regenerating quite quickly in comparison to old Mutalisks. And I keep clicking on one that isn't healed. There we go. See, look at that regen. That is uh, a rather nuts regen that's uh, frightening, frankly. Uh, Mutalisks still, still trying to look for a way in. And uh, they take out that turret but in the meantime if we look down at Rikio's base he's got a lot of overlords here but uh the zerglings are starting to mass up for the first time in the game he's got them on the map he does have a baneling nest as well uh, let's check out these upgrades while we follow the mutalists around a bit uh, he's got centrifugal hooks as well I would definitely definitely expect some banelings to come out on the field and uh, he might be gearing up for a massive attack here but Faust very well might be doing the same thing. Got a good group of tanks, marines, and a couple Thors, and uh, two, two, grand total of two medevacs. Yes, okay, look at this mass ball of Zergling. A few roaches in there as well. Uh, Faust is moving down the left side of the map. Rikio knows that, has moved to the right side of the map, and he knows he's got structures everywhere. He's running off five bases. It comes down to a base race, and Banelink's coming in. Some decent splits by Faust. Gets most of Banelings to not do a ton of damage. But in the meantime, a just flood of Zergling everywhere in this base. Gonna take out that Thor's flood into the main. All the SCVs done dead at the natural. Just flooding into the main. Gonna take out all these SCVs. Utter massacre going on here. Faust has brought its units back, but they're separated. They're not in a single ball. They're getting massacred, massacred by the Zergling as well. A few tanks and Thor's in the back, and oh, some. Naughty language dropped by Faust calling Rikio a hacker. Unfortunately, Faust, if you watched the game, Rikio didn't do anything to hack. He grabbed five bases. For a long time, he had three bases. When you had one, he just out-resourced you and flooded your base with Zergling. I mean, stuff was going down, sure, but your main infrastructure is not gone yet. You just <laughs> lost all your SUVs, so you, you were lost. Uh, you split your army up at times, like the end there. So, unfortunately, Faust loses this game, drops a little foul language, which I don't encourage. Uh, it's a fun game. You're having fun. And uh, I know we all get frustrated, but try not to cuss at your opponent. You know, he beat you. Throw GG out. Get out of the game. Go yell at a tree or something. And then come back and watch the replay and see what, see what happened. Anyways, guys, I do want to thank you for tuning in. Do thumbs up and subscribe. This was a fun game. I did enjoy casting it. And uh, that's going to do it for today. I have been Zeranin. I will catch all of you on the other side.